This Stromberg Carlson 501 radio is the most complete in my collection and it was manufactured by Stromberg Carlson in about 1925 and I believe it was their second radio that they manufactured. And I wanted to collect as much as I could that was manufactured for this radio because the Stromberg Carlson company made the switching offices that I started working in. The XY switch and the number five crossbar. And I have managed to put together a pretty complete collection. And this speaker, floor speaker, is one of the rarest. The cone is made out of paper, although it looks like leather. And here's a closer look at that cone. And here's the back side. You can see the driver and the little metal rod that pushes the cone to produce the sound. I also have some 2A headphones here that are manufactured by Stromberg Carlson that would have been used with this radio. But the first time that I put this up on YouTube I knew that I had a little bit more to show so that's why I'm doing this again I found the phone plug for this and I also found a box for the headphones which is right here now it happens to be a 3A and those phones on the right are the ones that you've seen before now I've opened up the box and I found another 2A set in the 3A box. I went ahead and bought the box because it's rarer than the headphones and I know I'll eventually find some 3As out there. I had never unboxed the plug and when I found it again I thought well I'll do another video on this and unwrap it and I was delighted that the radio plug was in its own box I didn't remember that part so that means that chances are this plug was not used very much. And there you can see it's the universal radio plug manufactured by Stromberg Carlson. And there's the plug. Now you would plug the earphones into this and then this plugs into the radio. Here's a closer look at the box. And here's the end of the box, number 60 radio plug. And again, a closer look at the plug both sides are the same and this is what's on the Bakelite see made in USA and here's another shot of the same thing it's a little bit easier to read the headphone box and the headphones 
along with the radio, came from the St. Louis area. The speaker I received from New Jersey. And the last thing that I bought for it so far, this radio plug, which was, there was a letter inside the shipping box and had a date on it of 2004. It came from Grand Junction, Colorado. And the best part of this, the radio and the floor speaker sound really good just like original. The NASDAQ composite rose 33 points and the S&P 500 gained two. As a complete investor, editor Stephen Lieb says investors are confident the Federal Reserve will make a move to boost the economy. I think Bernanke made it very, very clear this morning that Fed will engage in some form of quantitative easing and the chairman of the Fed does say it. Thanks for watching.